the willingness to to have hard conversations um, with coaches and parents because the, the students, the book's been written, so to speak, on, on how to do these different things and tools and all that sort of thing. But the the changing the mindset of the coaches and the parents, and, and I hate to say generationally, but that's just a fact in which the times in which we live, um, the dealing with kids, with the student athletes at this point in time, it is – it's hard and, and being able to identify that that's or like, accept the fact that it's hard um, and being able to choose your heart, right. Is it's hard to ignore things and to let it go or think they're going to deal with it themselves. And it's hard to have those conversations. But if you look at the potential, the process of that, the process of ignoring what's going on, letting them figure it out by themselves or whatever, that's not a very healthy process. Right. And so the outcome eventually is not going to be probably typically positive, but the process of engaging in a hard conversation and, and showing the student athlete that they have a safe, psychologically safe environment to to vent or to question themselves or to question the coach or the parents, you know, educating the parents and the coaches that that's OK, because like one has nothing to do with the other. Just because a student athlete questions you or, you know, breaks down or vents like it doesn't mean that they're a bad kid or you're a bad parent or a bad coach or anything like that. You know, it's, it's communication is really the key to it. 